This is Lance the My Four Sons Warehouse. Today we're going to talk about what happens if you don't get power from your M4 when you turn on either switch and when you see no voltmeter light come on. Okay, the first, the number one reason why you get no power and no voltmeter lights is because the J2 terminals are uh, bent down and they're not making contact with your spring plate. So all you need to do is just bend these up to at least 15 degrees. Make sure you don't short them because uh, that's not good for the battery. The number two cause of no power with no voltmeter lights is a loose wire with uh, between the connections inside the base. So to solve that, we just pull on the wires, make sure they're all tight. They're not wanting to come out. This is showing some snap connectors. Other, other models of M4 have electrician nuts. Just make sure they're all good. Also, double check the internal fuse if you have one. This is a 15 amp fuse. There should be no separation where that U-shape goes. The number three cause of the problem where you turn on the switches and get no power, and also when you get no voltmeter lights showing, is these connections between the battery spring plate and the battery wires. Very simply, to correct that problem, you tighten these down. Just tighten it down until it grips the wire nicely. And that's good. All right, the last potential cause for no power with no voltmeter lights is the rotary switch is no longer functioning correctly. To remove the rotary switch, pull the handle off and undo the nut, the panel nut, with needle nose or whatever ply you can get in there. Fairly straightforward. And then pulls out like that. Give us a call and we're happy to ship you same day a replacement rotary switch. If you turn the power switches on and you don't get any voltmeter lights, for the, the first three causes of that are basically the battery connection. If it is not, if that doesn't solve your problem, double check this fuse, which you may have already done. Make sure that U is intact. And also double check this red fuse drawer. Pull that out. The active fuse is in the U. The spare fuse is in the box. So just swap those fuses. Swap them. Once you've swapped the fuses, just pop it back in. And give it a try.